guys. Um, fucking hell with you. Okay, uh, I'm going to be doing one of the beers that I got from the Scottish company, alesellar.co.uk. And um, this is one that was actually recommended to me by a member of their staff. It's from the Cairngorm Brewery, which is a pretty good Scottish brewery. Um, Rob from Hopzine likes a lot of their beers. Uh, I've tried a couple of them, uh, as I know they do a um, Marks and Spencers do a couple of their range as well. Uh, their Scotch Ale was actually Cairngorm. Um, I think. I'm sure it is. Uh, anyway, this one is Wildcat. And it was recommended to me, so I'm really looking forward to it, giving it a go. Okay, let's give you some info. It says, uh, Wildcat is a smooth, deep, amber-coloured ale with a complex malt, fruit and hop flavour. Strong and distinctive, like the powerful, sleek Scottish Wildcat it is named after. Only the finest malt, hops and pure Highland water are used to create this impressive beer. And it's... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Have they got a website? www.cairngormbrewery.com and it comes in at 5.1 percent okay I'm really liking the Scottish beers at the moment I don't know if it's the water they use up there but they've just been really really flavorful so let's get going with this one Okay, that's quite a nice sort of um, dark, sort of burgundy sort of colour. Nice off-white head. Looking very nice in the glass. Let's give it a sniff. Wow, that's really nice. I'm getting a, re a lot of sort of sweet, sweet um, sort of. Oh, I hate using the same terminology all the time, but that's all I can really say. Like a sweet, uh, chocolatey, biscuity sort of malt. Um, it's not, not not so much a roasting, but you're getting the biscuit in there as well. It's really sort of nice and, and flavourful. Them hops are really coming through. Um, yeah, a predominantly malty, uh, bready, biscuity smell. I'm not always a fan of that, but when it's used right, I really do like it. I'm hoping it's not overly sweet, but we shall see. Cheers. That's just right. Oh wow, that's got some real flavours. Um, it's quite a bit of carbonation, but it's a real sort of hoppy malt malty bomb um, without being excessively sweet. This is the sort of beer that um, my good mate Chad, the albino rhino, uh, he'd love this one. This is a proper hop, hoppy malt bomb. <coughs> this is definitely his style of beer. Right, let's give you the notes. Oh, that's beautiful. <coughs> You get this really nice sort of sweet malt, which um, completely sort of covers your tongue. And this lovely sort of roasted bitterness, um, which sort of curls up on the on the end. Um, and it's all sort of lovely and swishy all around your mouth, and it just stays there. And then you're left with a, almost like a clean bitter taste uh, for the aftertaste. That is really smooth as well. There's also a bit of smoke in it. Um, I noticed it at the beginning. But I thought it might have just been the first sip. But when, you've had, when you've had a couple of sips, you get this lovely sort of mild smoke as well, which um, sort of traipses over the, all the flavours. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely some smoke in that as well. I'll tell you what, this is this is really complex. I, I was expecting it to just be a bit of a, either a, a hoppy, well I didn't know what to expect really. Maybe a hoppy, 
bitter or something like that, but it's like a combination. You're getting um, a bit of roasting, you're getting a nice bit of smoke, you're getting the bitterness, you're getting a bit of malt uh, sort of sweetness. So, excuse me, it's a really, really nice beer. Very, very sessionable as well, really nice and sort of juicy flavours, which are just so, so pleasant in the mouth. Um, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I know I'm pretty generous with my scores, but this really does deserve it. It's got everything I I want in a in this style of beer because I'm not a big fan of uh, sweet malts, and this is just perfect. You got some nice sweet malts, but you're getting this bitterness, you're getting a bit of smokiness, and it's all you know marrying together so well. Um, really, really good. Cairngorm Brewery, brilliant. Wildcat. Um, like I said, you can get that from alcella.co.uk. Maybe some other companies, but you know, get it from them because the postage is cheaper. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching the Urban Viking Hour review, and I'll see you again soon with another beer. Cheers!